today on my channel i'll be sharing a recipe for this delicious coconut curry it's one of my favorite things to make because it's quick it's easy and it's so so yum hi guys my name is Buki Akimari. i'm a digital creator and a food blogger here in lagos if this is your first time on my channel please do me a favor hit the subscribe button so you can subscribe also hit the bell so you're notified when i post new delicious recipes like this one for this recipe you're going to need some chicken you can use boneless chicken if you want but i like having the bone in mine i'm using some curry powder some seasoning powder some ginger powder some onion powder i'm also using two fresh carrots i'm using a can of coconut milk some oil some salt fresh chopped pepper and some fresh chopped onions so for the chicken i like to make sure that it's dry so i'm just going to use a paper towel to dry up all of the water that's on there so that it's dry and when i put my seasoning it sticks properly to the chicken because i'm going to marinate this for at least 30 minutes if you have more time you can do it for two hours just add your seasoning and put it back in the fridge for it to marinate properly you can do it overnight if you have that kind of time also so now I'm just adding my curry powder. I'm adding my ginger powder. Some onion powder. You guys already know I love onion powder. I use it in almost everything. So I wasn't going to miss that in this one. I'm also going to add some seasoning powder, which is just stock cubes. So if you wanted to use stock cubes, you can do that. I'm going to add a little bit of salt but this is really optional it depends on you to be honest i'm going to mix all of this together and make sure all of the chicken pieces are properly covered in spices next i'm going to cover it with some cling film and just let it sit on my counter because i've only got 30 minutes to marinate this one so i'm not going to put it back in the fridge i'll leave it on the counter so it stays at room temperature next i'm going to peel and slice my carrots for this recipe you can use pretty much any vegetable that you want i'm just using carrots and i've added green beans when i listed my ingredients i didn't add green beans because i forgot but i remembered and i'm including frozen green beans you can use the fresh ones if that's what you have so i'm just peeling my carrots and then i'm going to slice them you can use green peas you can use sweet corn you can use bell peppers you can use any type of vegetables that you like cauliflower broccoli are also vegetables that you can use and of course you can cut your vegetables to whatever size or shape that you want i'm just going to cut them around because i don't need them to be fancy or anything and this is the green beans i talked about i'm going to use my fresh peppers and onions so first in this pan, I'm going to add some oil. When the oil is hot, I'm going to add in my chopped onions. I'll saute this for about a minute until the onions are soft and fragrant. And then I'm going to add my chopped habanero. Because I wanted this coconut curry to be spicy, I'm adding habaneros, but this is really optional. It really depends on you. If you don't want the extra pepper or the spice level, you can take out the habaneros or you can just use crushed chilies, which are not as spicy, but they don't pack as much flavor is what I found out is why I like to use the fresh one. So I'll just cook this for another 30 seconds and then I'm going to put in my chicken pieces. So what I'm essentially doing is trying to brown this chicken first. I'm not cooking it completely yet. I'm just trying to brown the skin so that it has a nice color and so that the spices that I marinated it with sticks on it and you know, it just gets that really nice flavor. All of my chicken pieces have gone in now. I'm just going to give you about three minutes to cook on this side and then I'll flip it over. Can you see the nice brown that the chicken has? Be careful that you don't do this on very high heat so you don't burn your chicken. You want to do this on medium heat so that it gently browns and it doesn't burn. Do the other side for another three or four minutes so that it gets some nice browning too. Now 
next i'm going to add some water the chicken is already brown now i'm going to add some water to proper cook the chicken until it's cooked and soft i'm also going to add in some freshly minced garlic to give it some extra flavor And then I'll cover the pot and let it cook until the chicken is soft. This could be about 10 to 15 minutes. Now that my chicken is mostly cooked, I'm going to taste it for seasoning and adjust if I need to. And then I'm going to add my coconut milk. You can use freshly made coconut milk or you can use one from the can like I did. I just like things to be convenient and easy for me. So I don't really crack up a coconut and make a milk fresh all the time. Next, I'm going to add in my chopped carrots and my green beans. And this is going to cook in this curry sauce. If you feel like you have a lot of sauce, you can decant some into a bowl and then add it back if you need to later on. I need a lot of this sauce because I'm having this with rice and I really like to have a lot of sauce on my rice. So but if you feel like you have too much sauce, you can always decant some. And maybe you want to decant the stock from the chicken before you add in your coconut milk. I'm going to let this cook without covering it for about three to five minutes until my vegetables are soft and this is really how you make this simple coconut curry guys you guys there's nothing to it it's really simple quick and it's something that you can make when you get back home from work on a weeknight and i'm going to serve this over some basmati rice now look how yum it looks and when my sauce cooled down it got a bit thicker so you don't have to worry about it being too loose and of course you can always decant your stock before you add your coconut milk if you're worried about the consistency of it i hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video if you have please give me a thumbs up let me your questions your suggestions in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done that head over to instagram to follow me on there and to see some of the meal inspiration that i post thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye bye